I'm Mackie McCandlish. I'm the single player design lead. The game seems to be very keen to tell you that the Titans you're piloting have personality. Can you explain why this decision was made to make the time scene more personable? Well, Titanfall, even obviously from the first game, is about pilots and Titans. So going into the uh, making a campaign, that's probably one of the only things we really knew for sure was that we need to nail the pilot and Titan part of Titanfall. So on the story side, that expressed itself as a need to build a relationship between a pilot and a Titan. So that's you know that became easier by boiling it down to just one pilot and one Titan, the player and the player's Titan. So everything we could do to build the um, connection between those characters and build up, um, make it clear what they felt about each other and uh, have that change and grow over the course of the game would reinforce that core theme. The relationship between the pilot and mech puts us in mind of like Neon Genesis Evangelion a little bit. It's that very kind of symbiotic relationship. Was that one of the influences or is there anything else that influenced the campaign in terms of movies, books or the TV, etc.? Uh, there's been a lot of uh, giant robots and we just kind of suck it all in and process it. Um, Gargantia, the Virtuous Planet uh, Netflix anime series, I think was one of the bigger ones because it has that concept of um, kind of permission between the two and um, like priority system um, that we've translated into our game with the three uh, rules that the Titan has to follow. Um, and, you know, just on a, on a, you know, like a Pacific Rim is a bigger scale reference or a transformer, but still useful for us to see and process and think about how uh, uh, robots function with humans, or even like Data the Android or Big Hero 6, the ro Big Hero 6 robot, or Terminator 2, uh, that would be a big one. All of those kind of get, they're all like this big organic pool that ideas kind of grow out of. The first game didn't have a campaign, and it seems this time around each level is designed to show off a specific aspect of the whole Titanfall experience. Is that a fair comment? That's a really good observation. The um, Missions in Titanfall 2, uh, unlike the multiplayer, which, which uh, has a lot of different things going on at once with pilots, titans, AI, the, the missions in the single player can take an element of the Titanfall universe and really drill down on that element and focus on it and give it its own time to breathe. And that creates this sense of variety from mission to mission that you're not always going to get in a series of single player campaign levels. So. Uh, some missions may focus more on the mobility challenges for a pilot and some might be more on the combat or the Titan combat. And then even beyond that, there's different ways that we can uh, cast those elements in a different light based on what tools we give the player or what kind of environment we put them in and um, what kind of experiences we want to create. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of environment, the, uh, the puzzly elements that we have seen earlier, they took us by surprise. Uh, were, they in, were these inspired by the three principles of the design philosophy um, that you were mentioning earlier? Um, well, I was referring to the three priorities that the Titan has. You know, like it's, it has to um, link with the pilot and then it has to complete the mission and protect the pilot. For developing missions, I mean, that comes from a lot of different design sources. Uh, one of the tools we used to find those ideas was a concept called Action Blocks, where we took, um, we went, the design team went and looked at all the different things in the Titanfall universe and then kind of picked one little piece to focus on and then over the course of a week created a short single player experience around that idea and then all the designers and the other people at the company, the developers would play it and get feedback on, all, on how they were all working. And then some of those Action Blocks kind of formed and coalesced like DNA into eventually becoming the spine of a mission. And then other ones that don't work as well, you know, maybe we can revisit those ideas later. But they all had a, they all influenced where the game went. They were like a way to creatively explore the opportunities within the Titanfall universe. So do those blocks, do they end up making you have the same amount of time playing as the pilot and playing as the Titan? Or is it more of a sort of 60-40 split? So there was certain, um, I'd say, ratios that we strove for that we thought would make would be the right kind of rhythm of gameplay, but then once that actually gets executed in a level, it's gonna change and bend based on what that mission needs. So there's missions that are more Titan focused, more pilot focused, and you know, it's something that over the course of this game, we've really kind of, as a design team, uh, started to understand better and um, 
it even changed, those sort of goal percentages even changed over the course of development. Um, what the, the sort of magic rule we called it was 2-1-1, where it's like if two parts pilot combat, one part mobility challenge, one part titan combat. But that's really just kind of a guideline and not necessarily where we ended up. That's interesting. Now, what's your personal favorite element of the campaign? My personal favorite element of the campaign is probably um, some of the uh, more challenging pilot combat where I get to use my sliding and my, uh, my maneuverability mechanics to kind of evade and get around the battlefield and attack it from different perspectives because normally in the shooter I'm kind of used to you kind of pop out and you have to kill each of the targets and then you're allowed to progress but this is much more the combat spaces are more non-linear so just as a kind of grizzled old gamer that kind of appeals to me just <laughs> having a different way to attack combat. Titanfall will be available on console on October 28th.